What's up YouTube and Amazon, Jefferson here with the Sarger's page. And I got this quick release plate right here. I'm using it for my mobile photo VS 2000. It's a three axis video stabilizer. And if you guys have a video stabilizer like this that has a cheese plate on here, you guys know how much having a cheese plate is super annoying because even though that's their version of a quick release plate, it's absolutely not a quick release plate at all. So I got this one right here. This is the Kole Hoda. Hopefully I'm saying that correctly, which I think I'm not. It's a quick release plate system, which I like a lot. It's not the best, but it's not the worst. It's something simple, definitely cheap. I'll link everything in the description box below if you guys are curious on getting one yourself. So what I love about this is that one, super easy to actually take off right here. It does grind on the actual quick release plate. Uh, I don't care about that, but if you guys do care about aesthetics, it will actually grind it off a little bit. Um, but it's not a big deal in my opinion. It's super easy to actually screw on as well. And you have a lock on there as well. So if you guys are using your rig on here and if for whatever reason you guys are scared and you don't want the actual system to fly off or if you don't want to accidentally pop this out as well, as you guys could see right there, if you guys don't want that to happen, you guys have a little like lever or switch which you could just pull to the side. I love that thing because it's super easy. Make sure you guys lift that up and it will not open up at all. Uh, once you guys actually pull that out of your way, then it would open up with no issues. This quick release plate has a butterfly knob on there as well, which is really, really awesome. Definitely helps out screwing it on. I hate having quick release plate where you need a flat head to actually tighten it down. Uh, you know, so. I don't like that. The way I have this set up is at the bottom of the quick release plate, you have like two tabs, I guess you could say. One is a long bar and the other one is um, a shorter bar compared to that one and it's thinner. I have the shorter one facing the lens and I have the thicker and longer bar facing away uh, towards the monitor or, or I guess you could say the back. And that actually snaps on the way I actually have this put on is I put the smaller one in first and then push towards the bottom like that and it locks in place, no issues at all. Sometimes I actually have to push down on the tab a little bit to make sure it's secure and then lock it in place. Sometimes I do that, sometimes I don't. Uh, without that lock on there, I never had any issues. It actually stays in place. I never had it accidentally unlocking or even if I were to tie, um, like have something snag on there, uh, it doesn't, uh, unlock the camera which is good so that's a huge plus in my opinion obviously if you tug it hard enough it will come off so make sure you guys do that especially if you guys are running and doesn't hurt to play it safe but yeah guys that's pretty much it build structure is actually really really good I think it's constructed out of aluminium it feels like it it's pretty solid no issues at all the only thing I do want to say is that if you guys are using this with a stabilizer like mine uh, on the bottom, there is a little tab that goes down, so you do have to raise your quick release plate. I use a rubber seal gasket on the bottom with a kind of like a two butterfly knob thing, but that's pretty much what I did to raise it so I don't have any issues with unlocking and locking this back in. All in all, I love it. If you have any questions, put them in the comment box below. I'm more than willing to answer any questions you guys may have. If you guys like this video or if you just found it helpful, give me a thumbs up. It helps out my channel. And like always, guys and girls, take care. Okay, I'm actually using three uh, counterweights right here. So three on each side. So that's the way I have it set up right here.